using a embroidery hoop, a packet of felt balls and some thread. First you want to choose your felt balls, I went for a gradient effect. Next separate the embroidery hoop into the inner and the outer, we only need one of the parts. Then cut several pieces of string, I use six, each piece should be the length you want the felt balls to hang plus about 30 or 40 centimetres, it's better to have strings that are too long than too short. Now it's time to add the felt balls, so thread your needle with one of the strings, thread the balls onto the string, starting from the one that will be closest to the hoop. To secure the last ball in place, loop your needle back over the ball and insert it once more into the top. Then take your needle under the loop that this just made and under the new loop, and give it a little tug to secure it in place. Then just insert your needle anywhere into the felt ball and out the other side, pulling tight, and finally trim off the excess. The great part about these felt balls is that you can slide them along the string and they stay in place. So repeat these steps for as many strings as you want, experiment with the colours and the placement of the balls. I went for a multicoloured gradient theme. Now we can attach our strings to the hoop. Hold the hoop in one hand, place the string at the position you want it to hang. Holding it in place with your thumb, use the other hand to wrap the string three or four times around the hoop. Then thread your needle and take it underneath these wraps. Repeat this twice more to form loops. Then take your needle up through these loops and give it a little tug to secure. Then repeat this process for the remaining strings, trying to spread them evenly across the hoop. Now, tying the strings together. You want the hoop to hang evenly, so the strings need to be tied together at the same length. Measure the same length, in my case 15 centimeters, on each string, then tie them together at this point. You can tie each string by one by one or tie them all at the same time, whichever is easiest. Adjust the position to make the hoop hang evenly. We're going to use an extra felt ball to hide the ends of the string. Thread this through the longest remaining string. You can also add an extra piece of string if you want the mobile to hang longer. Secure this in place as we did before. Now we can thread all the untidy ends into this ball and trim away the excess to give a nice neat finish. And we're done! You've created a beautiful baby mobile. Have a go at experimenting with styles, for example adding felt balls to the top of the strings. You might even have some little toys that could hang on the ends. And I hope you found this project really fun!